In this tutorial, we're going to explore the screen recording options that are in Flipgrid. To begin, we're going to create a new grid by pressing the red Add New Grid button. From there, we're going to give it a name. I'm going to call it Screen Recording Demo. Then we're going to select the grid type. The grid type is going to control how students are able to log in and view your grid. In this case, I'm going to select School Email. I'm going to give a Flipgrid code. This gives the grid its own website address. Like any website address, it has to be unique. I can see here that it's available. And then I can click on Next. The school email uh, setting here tells us that only this domain is able to access this grid. This is a key security feature. It ensures that some random person on the internet isn't able to log into our grid and that they're not able to interact with students. So very, very important. Once you have that right, go ahead and click next to continue. And there you go. You have your grid. You can take this web address, you can copy it and paste it into an email. You can post it to Google Classroom. That's a couple different ways for you to share it with students. For now, we're gonna click the red go to your grid button. Now that you have your personalized grid, you have to create a topic. Topic is how you interact with the students. It's a prompt that you present to them, either as a video or a picture or an article, uh, and then you allow them to respond with their own video feedback. Click on the red add new topic button. A topic has a title, a recording time, and a prompt along with an optional focus. So I'm gonna give it a title. For the recording time, I'm gonna select uh, just three minutes. That's how long the students have to respond. And the prompt is usually instructions. For the focus, we're gonna select record a video. That's gonna bring up your camera. Give it a chance to focus, all right. Usually people will record a video and then uh, allow that to be the prompt for the students. Uh, I'm gonna select a triple dot option and then I'm going to click screen recording. Now that gives me this screen with the blue start screen recording button. I'm going to click that. This gives me my floating head at the bottom here. I can move that around if I wanted to, but I'm going to keep it over here for now. On the share your screen window, you have a few options. You can share your entire screen, which will show your, your whole desktop, the background, any icons you have. Uh, anything that's open will be visible. You have the application window, so you can select a specific application that's open or you can select a Chrome tab, which lets you show just one tab on one of your Chrome browsers. In this case, I'm going to select on the Chrome application. That way I can switch between tabs, gives me a little more options, and then I'll click share. I get a three second countdown, and now we're live. The first thing I see is the blinking red light there with the amount of time I have left to record. You have 10 minutes to record. You can pause your recording if you need to take a break. You can click stop recording when you're done. I'm going to hop over to this other tab where I have a slide show presentation that I found on SlidesGo. I'll put a link in the description. This is just a revolution template that's kind of interesting. Uh, from here, you can give your typical history lesson or whatever you want to present. And when you're done, return to your Flipgrid tab and then click stop recording. So here it shows you a preview of what you recorded. You have limited editing features here. If you click on the timeline, you get two playheads, one at the front and one at the back. You can take the front playhead, move it a few seconds to where you have the slideshow beginning. You could take the playhead and cut off the, the end of your video. That way you can remove um, the beginning as you're setting up and the end as you're clicking the stop button and only really present to the students the real meat of the presentation. Um, another option is you could not bother editing at all. Just take it as it is, upload it and go. Uh, if you feel that this editing is a little little too much, particularly if you're just getting started, that's fine. Lower your expectations, record it, upload it and go. This doesn't have to be a masterpiece. The, the point is just to kind of get it done, right? So once you have it the way you want it, click on confirm. Here it shows you a preview of your edited video. So you can see it, it cut off the beginning and the end of what I recorded. When I'm happy with it, click on next. Now with Flipgrid, you're able to add a selfie. So you could take a picture of yourself and it becomes like the cover of your topic. In this case, I'm going to click the triple dots for selfie options, and I'm going to select the select a frame option. And now I can move the playhead around until I have a screenshot that I want to be the selfie of this video. So I, I'll go ahead and select this frame and then click on next to continue. It allows you to confirm it. So I click next again, and here it's saving my video and then click the red complete button to finish. So here I have my topic with my title, my recording time, my prompt, and my optional focus. 
Now that I'm happy with it, I'm ready to create my topic. Click the red create topic to close it. Here we go. Now we have our topic. This is the website that I can share with students for them to uh, watch my video prompt and to provide their own feedback. I click the blue button to copy it. I can use this QR code to print this to a poster and kids can scan it with their phones. They can scan it with their Chromebooks. I can also present this on my projector or my display board. I can also post it to Google Classroom. So I'll show you how to do that real quick. So I'm gonna click the Google Classroom link. From here, I'm gonna select a class. Then I'm gonna select an action. In this case, I'm gonna post it as an assignment and then click go. Assignments need a title, instructions. I'm gonna give it a title here. Give it instructions. You can see that the Flipgrid link is already attached. I can assign it to a specific class, select which students, give it a due date, and when I'm done, click assign. I have another video that goes into much more detail about Google Classroom, so I'll put a link here for that um, if you're looking for more information about how to use Google Classroom. When I'm done, I'm going to close this window and then click all set to finish. There you go. Now I've created a topic and I have posted it to my Google Classroom for students to review. Here we're logged in as the student so we can see the student perspective. We see our picture at the top. We see the video prompt here with the instructions to watch the video and respond. Here I'm gonna click on the video. So this will show the flip lesson that we recorded. I click X when I'm done. Down here I have the option to do a video response. So the students click the big green button, opens up my camera with Flipgrid people can record a video response so you could ask them a question and use this to answer it. With this new feature, we can click the triple dots and select screen recording. From here, click the start screen recording button. Just like before, I'll click the Chrome application and select share. So with this, the kids could be looking at a picture, they could be presenting some information they found online or maybe their own slideshow uh, or, or just answering the question as a video. They can pause as you could, and when they're done, they click stop recording. Uh, you'll also note that they only have three minutes because that's how long uh, we set up for this topic. So it prevents them from rambling on. When they're done, they click stop recording. Uh, again, they can edit the video if they wanna cut off the first few seconds or chop off the end. Click on next to continue. Uh, they can take a selfie, click next, and that becomes the face for the video. Uh, they can put their display name I suggest they just use a first name, last initial, give it a title if they want to, and link to additional resources, and then click Submit Video. And then I'll click Complete to close it. Now I'm gonna hop back over to the teacher view, and I see I have one response. So as the students respond to my prompt, or to my topic, I'm able to see what they presented. I can click on this, and it plays whatever video they have. This could be them answering a question. It could be a video that they recorded like a screencast like I have here. I can give them some feedback. I can use uh, this feature to record my own feedback so we can have a video back and forth. Give them some text comments. Uh, sometimes students will upload inappropriate materials. Kids can be uh, inappropriate sometimes. Uh, so from here I can um, change the name if I needed to. I can also hide this video if I feel it's necessary or even delete it or download it if I need to uh, submit it to the uh, principal for them to uh, write up a kid. Uh, you can give a vibe. A vibe is a public comment. So if you want to do something positive and say, hey, good job. Thanks for saying that. Thanks for the research. You know, something positive. The vibe is a way, a vibe is a way for you to do that. And you can update that response. Uh, share allows you to, to share this outside of Flipgrid. So if you wanted to email this to the parent and let them know, hey, here's something awesome your kid did, this is a great way to do it. You could share it to Google as an announcement, um, which is a great way to show other students, hey, here's an example of, of what I wanted for this assignment. Um, that's just one way of sharing that. Once you view this, you can close this and then go on to other students. So that's it. That's a quick tutorial on the new screen recording features from Flipgrid. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Uh, I appreciate a like, subscribe. If you think you have a friend that could find this useful, go ahead and share it with them as well. I appreciate you watching. Let me know if I can help.